Hey everybody, Boom here with another tutorial. I'm going to show you how to pop up a random video or have your viewers pop up a random video using Twitch channel redeems. My buddy here, Rath, had a great idea. What he's going to do, he's going to set it up on a stream so his viewers can ask like yes or no questions and he'll have videos of himself as like a, a genie, uh, you know, giving generic answers. You know, the spirits say that's a great idea or the spirits say that'll never happen or those sort of things. He asked me how to do the the uh, video part so that's what this is I have a channel redeem set up and when I click it a random video pops up over what I had there plays for 10 seconds meanwhile the redeem is on cooldown and when it's done it goes back to what I had playing before I can click the redeem again and we get it pops up with another random video and goes back on cooldown for another 10 seconds so let me show you how to set it up. The first thing we need to do is create a new scene. I've already created it here at the bottom of my list. Random videos. And then we need to put in our videos. Now the easy way to do this, instead of creating a source and adding them one by one, we can just open up our folder, select a bunch, and drag them in. The way we're doing this, we don't have to worry about renaming them. It's fine this way. Now, I, obviously, I obviously have a sizing issue here, so what I'm going to do, a little trick, I'm going to get the first one right, the top one on the list, right click on it, and select transform, copy transform, if you're really advanced there's a hotkey, but I'm just going to show you this way, and then go back, select all of them, and then right click on all of them, and paste transform. Now they're all the right size. So I could turn them all off for now. If I really want to be good, lock them all up. And now I'm um, set up. At any time, and we're going to set up in StreamerBot, our viewers are going to be able to click a redeem and it'll turn on one of these videos for 10 seconds. And what's great is this scales up really easily. We're not going to have to change anything in StreamerBot every time we want to add a video or get rid of a video. Just drag another video over to here and it'll just start working. Or get rid of one and it'll, it'll stop working. So now let's go look at StreamerBot. Here's my StreamerBot. I'm assuming you know how to use StreamerBot. If not, I'm sorry, you gotta watch another video. I wanna make this a short one. So we're gonna create a new action. And I'm gonna call it random video. And there's nothing special about the way I'm setting it up. Just it's enabled and not selecting anything else. And first let's, first let's do the sub actions to show what it does. And then we'll do the triggers to show what what enables it. And uh, we're, all, we're gonna do this entirely through this one action. This is really simple. So the first thing we wanna do is play a random video. And there's actually an action. I'm right clicking here and let me zoom in so you can see a little bit better. Right click on sub actions, go to OBS, go to scenes, set random source visible. That's exactly what we wanna do. We don't have to code anything or whatever. So choose the scene and it's pick the one that I'm on because it's connected and if I test it let me zoom out so you can see it plays a random scene Oop, turn that off so test it again now you, you, obviously every time I test it it'll play a random scene we need to turn them off so let's set that up and there is an action for that as well <laughs> OBS scenes Zoom in so you could see behind my head. Hide scene sources. All of them. And let's test it right now. Let me zoom out again. They'll go away. So, test this. Turns on my sources. Test this. Turns them all off. Let's just add a delay in the middle and we're pretty much good to go. So, core. Delay. Zoom in again. Hope the, I'm trying to get better at the zooming in. I know it can make people like sick if I'm not good at it. And uh, we want to do 10 second clips. So we'll do a 10,000 millisecond delay. Is that in seconds or milliseconds? Yeah, it's in milliseconds, so we're good to go. And there we go. So now I'm going to set up a, um, a test action just to, just to, so I could just trigger this right now. Let me zoom out, and when I trigger it, 
it should play a clip for 10 seconds and then turn it off. I probably should have made it five seconds to make the, the 10. Okay, that's, that's good. So you get the idea. So now let's set up our triggers. Obviously, we're not going to sit here and click on this to trigger it. And we could trigger it a, a number of ways. I could set up a, uh, a text command. So exclamation point random video. Anyone in chat could do it. I can make it a voice command. Hey, hey robot, play a random video. But what we're going to do is we're going to make it a, a Twitch redeem. So let's go zoom in a little bit to platforms, Twitch, channel point rewards. And these are my Twitch channel point redeems. You want to create all your, all your redeems in here so that you can control them in here. You can turn them on, you can turn them off, you could do all kinds. You can change the price of them. So you could make your first request of the day cost a million points and make the next one be, be cheaper. Whatever. You, you get the idea. So if you have redeems in Twitch, delete them and recreate them here. You only have to do that once. So I'm going to add a new redeem. We're going to call this random video. We're going to make it cost uh, one point. If we want user input required, if you want to do a text to speech with this, you could click this and people can type in text and then you can use that to do stuff. But I'm not going to do that now. Uh, I'm going to set a cooldown for 10 seconds. I should make it 11 seconds just to make sure there's no overlap. And by the way, if you want, you could have no cooldown and set the action up as a queue. So if 10 people do it immediately, it'll just play one after the other. I, I, I think for now, I'm just going to set up with a cooldown. So if people, people just have to wait to click it. You can also, this is pretty cool. I use this for some redeems. If you click this, it'll, it'll remember how many times that user did this redeem. So five years from now, you, can, you could just pop it up in chat and say, hey, you've used this redeem a million times. Um, and, and also just keep track of how long, how many times it's been used by everyone together. I don't know if we can use it for this, but it's, it's a cool feature. So now that we've created our redemption, let's go back to our actions. We have our random video selected and let's create the trigger. We right click on the triggers area above here and under core, there's a section for, no wait, under Twitch, <laughs> there's a section for, let me zoom in here, Twitch channel rewards. And now under this drop down list should be the one I added. What do we call it? Random video. There it is. And that's all there is to it. It's working. We can close this and we're done with it. If we want, we can add more triggers. We can add exclamation mark commands, voice commands, whatever you want. But for now, this is how we're setting it up. So let's close this and let's give it a try in OBS. So of course I'm in the way, but you all know how Twitch power, uh, uh, mine are called power cords, but Twitch channel rewards work. I'm going to pop one up. It says, and here we go. Random video. It's new. It's there. It costs one point. I'm going to redeem it. Cross my fingers and hey, a video pops up. So let me click it again and reward is on cooldown. Cooldown's over. Redeem it again. Another random video. And when the video is done, it shuts off. We're pretty much done at this point. But as long as we're here, let's do one more step and put this into production. So first of all, let's rename this scene. Rename from demo random videos to nested random videos. We're going to use it as an actual in production nested scene. And let me go up to uh, let me see. <laughs> In my layout section, here we go. Old TV. And I'm going to add a nested scene. And it's going to be the one we just created, uh, which was nested. Oh, I used all caps. Oh, well. We'll fix that later. Here it is. Look, it stands out. Actually, kind of helps me. Let me zoom out here so we don't get seasick. Uh, I'm going to move it down behind the TV. I'm going to resize it. Now let's lock it up. Test it. Again, I'm, I'm in the way, but you'll have to trust me that I'm clicking on the redeem and there we have it. So let's see it in final production. Going back to my home screen here. So here's my TV behind me and I'm clicking the redeem, clicking on it, redeeming it. And in the TV behind me, the video pops up. 
play for 10 seconds. Meanwhile, the redeem is on cooldown. It goes back to the video I had before there, my buddy Wrath. And if I click redeem again, another random video. If I want to add more videos, just I just drop them into that nested scene. It's that easy. I know this video is already too long for a tutorial, but I just have one more advanced tactic to share and then I promise we're done. Because you might not want this available at all times. It might be distracting if you're in the middle of a game or if you're a music streamer in the middle of a song. So let me show you how to enable it and disable it. Now you could set up a new action called enable video and an action called disable video and, and put, put it in there and have it triggered by a, a stream deck button or voice command. But I'm just going to show you, uh, I'm a Rocksmith streamer and Rocksmith streamers, we have this amazing script that Thorsten made that gives us an action uh, at song start and song end. So I'm going to put it in there. But again, you can, you can have it triggered by anything. So I'm going to create my action and it is under Twitch rewards. Let me zoom in so you can see. Configure rewards. And since I have so many, let me stretch this out a little bit. Let's find the right one. Where is it? There, it's all the way at the end. So I'm going to right click and move it to enabled because when the song ends, I want it to be, to be enabled. Uh, and then to make it easy, I'm just going to copy this and go over to song start, paste it. And then just move it from enabled to disabled. So now whenever a song starts, this reward becomes disabled. It won't be in the chat list in the, in the little rewards box under the chat list. No one will be able to trigger it and distract you during your song or your game or, or whatever it is you're doing. And then when the song starts, when the song ends, it becomes enabled again and viewers can use it. And again, you don't have to use this advanced, this is kind of out of the scope of this, this advanced song start thing. You could just make a trigger and the trigger could be a voice command, a stream deck button, whatever you want to, to turn this on, on and off. So that's it. I hope you found it helpful. If there's any other tutorials you'd like to see, please let me know in the comments and please like and subscribe. Thanks.